From marshes and swamps to forest and upland hills, Louisiana's beautiful landscape is as diverse as its wildlife. One species inhabiting our state's hardwood forest is the black bear. We have three black bears here at the Alexandria Zoo. The two young boys are American black bears. Emily is a Louisiana black bear. She is an American black bear species, but she's a Louisiana black bear subspecies, which means she was born in this region, being Louisiana, Mississippi, East Texas. The Louisiana black bear is one of 16 subspecies of American black bears in North America. Chip and Obi arrived at the Alexandria Zoo in late November 2016. The boys came from Minnesota. They were orphaned in Minnesota, so they are considered American black bears. They were still very young cubs. They only weighed about 65 pounds when they got here. They were really cute. Estimating black bear populations is an essential component of preserving the species. But with such an expansive range, how are wild populations tracked and calculated? U.S. Fish and Wildlife and Louisiana Wildlife and Fisheries both play a big role in keeping the count of how many bears we have here in Louisiana. They use tracking. They also use a neat technique um, called hair snares. By analyzing DNA from hair samples, individual bears can be identified and regional population estimates can be generated. An advantage of the hair snares is that bears don't have to be captured to get samples. In 1992, the Louisiana black bear was listed as threatened within its historic range under the Endangered Species Act. To help increase the bear population in Louisiana, several things had to happen, including replanting the hardwood forest that they live in. Through voluntary landowner incentive-based habitat restoration programs and environmental regulations, black bear populations began to recover. Bringing back major species like the black bear in Louisiana is important because it benefits um, a whole ecosystem. The partnerships of many private landowners, government agencies, universities, and other conservation organizations have enabled Louisiana's state mammal to rebound in its native range.